Welcome to USA Golf and Travel, where dream golf vacations come true. Join your hosts, Mark Stewart and Rebecca Blackwell, as they take you to golf courses and resorts around the United States and the world, giving you an insider's view of each one. Golf Vacation offers you a perfect way to journey to new places with a purpose, to play golf. And while you're at it, experience all that the resort has to offer. Food, accommodations, sightseeing, people, shopping, and more. This week, USA Golf and Travel spotlights golf in Las Vegas. We'll visit Mesquite, an ever-growing mecca for golfers with five great golf courses, all within a few minutes' drive. We'll be at the Palms Golf Course, meeting with its pro golfer. Then join us as we look at the Revere at the Anthem, a new Casper Nash golf course with a striking view of the Las Vegas Strip, even though it's located a few miles away in Henderson. Next, you'll be one of the first to see the soon-to-be-finished Bears Best in Summerlin. The plan is for Jack Nicholas to open two Bears Best courses, one in Summerlin and one in Atlanta. Everybody loves Las Vegas. For golfers, the reason to be there are inescapable and mounting. Okay, well, Mark, here we've arrived in Mesquite. Uh, not so far. I thought it would be a little longer drive. Well, you know, I can't believe we're out here. I saw it in the middle of the desert. We've got a waterfall. In Isn't front it beautiful? Of... Oh, we're standing yeah. in front of the Casablanca, well, which is right down this road from the Oasis. You know, it was a long drive here, but... I'm ready to play some golf. What do you think? Well, you know, I want to just let everyone out there know that there are at least six great golf courses right here in this area. So I'm sorry to say you're going to be happy, and I'm, I'm going to try and get off to the spot. But in any event, um, the golf courses are all connected, I've been told, by um, a, oh, car. There's some great, a car. Did there's you some hear great, about that? They can take you around, courses. and they're all uh, connected so closely. So you can start, you can stay here in a special room rate. I understand they have really great golf packages and stay at the Casablanca and they you don't even have to drive your car. Well, you know, a friend of mine played this not too long ago and he mm -hmm. sent me this hat and said I had to play there. So I'm going to play there. I'm going to play Wolf Creek. I'm going to play the Oasis course. I'm Arnold Palmer designed that one. I'm, Aren't you excited about I'm excited. I know that you're going to have a chance to talk to Bob Ald, who is the uh, pro over at the golf Club there at oh, the, I, uh, heard, I heard that yeah. uh, he so, was in the uh, long drive contest. Also, we're going to see a little clip right now of something that was put together just promoting Mesquite itself, just to give you an idea of where we are, how close it is to Las Vegas, and how uh, it has everything right here. Once you get here, you're just completely uh, set, especially if you want to go golfing. Well, you know what I think? Yeah. What do you think? I think you ought to go to the spa. And I ought to go to the golf club. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> Just an hour north of Las Vegas is Mesquite, Nevada, the gateway to Lake Mead, the Grand Canyon, Zion National Park, the Valley of Fire, and several ski resorts. Mesquite has developed itself into a resplendent resort destination. Once you're there, you don't want to leave. Outdoor activities abound. Six championship golf courses, trap, skeet, horseback riding, hiking, mountain biking, and even fishing. Or you can soothe your body in one of the magnificent spas. At night, Mesquite comes alive with Vegas-style gaming and live entertainment. All the action you could hope for. The talk of the nation's newest golf courses is Mesquite's Wolf Creek at Paradise Canyon. It is ranked as the second most difficult course in the United States. Winding along canyon walls, this course features an 11-story tee box. Nearby is the Oasis Golf Club, situated in the dramatic foothills. Arnold Palmer designed this course with undulating fairways and enough bunkers and water hazards to test you and your equipment to the limits. The Cal Olson course at the Casablanca Golf Club follows the lines of the Virgin River, playing through the vast beauty of natural wetlands an area declared a desert fowl refuge by the Audubon Society. The Palms Golf Course boasts a cross between them all with challenging elevation changes and fabulous Virgin River vistas. 
Falcon Ridge, the newest of the Mesquite courses, opens this fall, boasting fairways and tee boxes through ridges and canyons with plenty of elevation changes, water, and sand hazards. Hello, I'm Mark Stewart, and I'm with uh, Bob Alt. He's the pro here at uh, the Palms Golf Club. Tell us a little bit about your uh, place here, Bob. Well, the Palms is a, is a property that we've just taken over and uh, excited about being here. It's a great golf course and a good facility. We also have a gun club and a uh, ranch. Now, but you can't shoot out of golf carts, can you, Bob? No, you've got you to gotta go down to the gun club. That's protected. What do you think is your signature hole here, Bob? I believe the 15th hole. It's a par 5. It's uh, 555 yards, and it's an elevated tee. Looks over the Virgin uh, Valley River, and it's just a beautiful shot and a, and a challenging hole. I think the big thing about coming to Mesquite and playing the resorts up here, and certainly the Palms and the Oasis Resort, is that it is a full-service resort. You know, we have the casinos and the spa, and as we've mentioned, the uh, gun club and the ranch and quality golf course. And you know, the thing is, is you get to come up here and you you get to do all that gambling and fun like that but you also get a rural sense where the people are friendly and, and that's what we want we want them to have fun and, and enjoy themselves but in a friendly uh, manner now Bob you know I'm a big fan of that uh, long driver contest I've got the I've got that big ping you mm -hmm. know and I, I try to let it loose but you know I've seen on TV they have the long drive contest down here and I understand that you've even been in it too I had the opportunity last year to qualify and was fortunate enough to make it all the way up to the uh, semifinals. The last person to hit to try to make it into the uh, finals of the senior division. And I got to tell you, it's an exciting thing, you know, to participate and also to view. It's a wonderful thing. It's a sport that's growing big. And we have it in October, like October uh, 18th through the 21st. Is the well, this is a good place to hit them, though, too. This is a good. I mean, I've seen it on TV, and it, it looked great. Art Salinger does a great job in the production of it, and they bring the lights in and make a pretty good show of it, and it is an exciting week. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to be looking for you again this year, Bob, and uh, good luck on that. Well, I appreciate that, and I hope everybody gets in there and watches it on TV. Well, I'm sure they will. Are there, before we do go, are there any other tournaments that uh, you have coming up? We always will have the Nevada Open up here. It's not played here at the Palms. It's played at the Casa Blanca and the Oasis Golf Club, but that's every year, and we, we have a good time with that. And uh, There's other events that are coming up that we're trying to, to prepare ourselves to have. Now, Bob, are you affiliated with the other courses, too? or are you I'm actually the director of golf at Casa Blanca Golf Club also. Whoa, you've got a big job here. Then. They keep me busy. <laughs> well, thank you, Bob, and Thanks, uh, Mark. look forward to seeing you in October on that long drive contest. Okay. Hi, Mark. You know how I love to come to Las Vegas and do a little gambling, take an opportunity to see the shows, go out and dine. But on this show, we want to let everyone know that there is a full-time living community here. It's a year-round community, and how they're living. Golf communities are springing golf up. Golf community. <laughs> now you're talking, Rebecca. You're talking now. Golf community. Well, that's true. I know that what you like most about Las Vegas lately is the golfing. Well, I, I do love all of Las Vegas, and it does have a certain lifestyle here that... Uh, uh, is really unique. Well, because the golfing has taken over so much as a lifestyle here in Las Vegas, and we are featuring you with some of the golf pros out here and the great golf courses that are here in Las Vegas for everyone to enjoy, public golf courses that they can come in here and really just golf away day by day. But anyhow, we want to take this opportunity to show some of the estates, the way that people are living here in the golf communities. And Tani Luke is joining us this morning. She's one of the premier real estate agents here in Las Vegas. She has a property that's right behind me, right here. We're in Tournament Hills. It is one of the golf communities I was telling you about. Well, yes. <laughs> and uh, she's going to give us a little insight on how people are living here in Las Vegas, moving in, what they can get, the values. And, of course, you can certainly see the beauty in the, in the architecture. Well, it is a beautiful home, and it's a beautiful area. And there's, a, you know, security. There's a, there's a lifestyle here that's uh, 
you can't find anywhere else in America. I'm sure that all the golf enthusiasts that watch our show will be very interested in some of the tips you have coming today, too. Well, I, I hope so. They some were tips in case you're making some mistakes in your golf game. Well, they were very helpful to me. Uh, and uh, I think you're pretty good. Well, I think you're good, too, Rebecca. <laughs> okay, let's meet Tanny. Let's meet Tanny. My name is Tanny Luke with Realty Executives. I'm a custom home specialist here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and have been specializing in homes for more than seven years. Together with my husband, Richard Luke of Richard Luke Architects, we build dream homes that will fit any person's lifestyle. This is one of the many beautiful homes that we've built with Richard Luke Architects. This home is currently for sale, available on the market for $1,999,000. This home was built from scratch with every custom detail put together uh, with the team of professionals like the builder, the architect, the realtor, and also uh, and a designer. This home is uh, slightly over uh, 7,800 square feet. It has many features that include barrel vaulted ceilings, skylights, coffered ceilings, indirect lighting, natural stone, imported medallions, custom wrought iron railings. Just a few of the examples that make this home truly remarkable. If you're looking to build a custom dream home, I can direct you to the, the custom areas uh, in Las Vegas, whether it's a, a new home or a built home, or you want to directly start building your custom dream home from scratch, we'll start finding lots that are available for purchase. And then I will direct you to uh, an architect, which uh, I am very close to with Richard Luke, architect being my husband. Um, and then from there on, we will go into design phases, into interior designs, and so forth until we really get a, a package ready and comfortable that you're willing to uh, put together and make it happen. I can help you find your custom home dream lot. I'm Mark Stewart, and I'm here with uh, Tony Lindsay. He's the director of marketing and sales here at the Revere Anthem, uh, a beautiful course. Uh, I believe we're over a thousand feet above uh, uh, the floor of uh, Las Vegas, and as you can see, you can see the stratosphere in back of us. And uh, I'm going to ask Tony a few questions here about the course and how long it's been here and some of your plans. Sure. Well, the the, uh, the Revere Golf Club was here. We started here April 17th of '99, is what our grand opening was. So we're just over our second year of operation right now, and uh, working towards some new new things going on here at the Revere. The golf course is pretty spectacular. We've got uh, almost 500 feet of elevation change throughout the golf course. Uh, like you mentioned, we sit about a thousand feet above the, the Las Vegas city, so we've really got some spectacular views from the golf course and some neat elevation changes out there that really make the Revere, a nice, uh, unique experience for Las Vegas golf. They have a lot of holes that are uh, representative of the Paul Revere's ride and his, uh, his time. And, uh, uh, I mean, who came up with that idea? Well, Clay Meininger is our director of golf, and uh, along with uh, himself and, and Tom Blinkensop, our head professional, and myself, we have tried to do a really good job of theming out the facility and really making it a, uh, an educational experience for the golfer, because that's what golf now is all about, is not just uh, going out and playing golf, but an overall experience. So from naming the holes and theming them out, such as uh, we call it a few holes like Midnight Ride or One If By Land, Two If By Sea, uh, Number 15, The British Are Coming, and, and uh, unique things like that to make it educational for the golfer when they come out. And uh, things like our, our practice facility, instead of calling it the driving range, we call it the battlefield. And uh, <laughs> on the battlefield, you see some unique things out there. So it's really uh, an experience for the golfer. Our, our flag pin placements on the golf course are, are red, white, and blue American flag replicas with our logo on it. So it's really uh, themed out accordingly and, and makes for a neat experience for the golfer. Well, thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. And uh, we're going to go take a look around, and I'll see you a little later. Sounds great. Okay? Thanks, Mark. Hello, I'm Mark, and I'm with, with uh, Tom Blinkensop here. He's the head pro here at uh, Revere at Anthem. This is uh, just a beautiful spot, and I, I, I hit a few balls around, and I noticed 
that if you get off the fairway a little bit, you've got a little bit of a, uh, a problem there. So you've got to bring your game to this course. You do have to bring it. It does look a little intimidating from the tee, and sometimes you can get in some spots that, it, that it's tough to get it back onto the fairway if you get in the desert a little bit. But for most cases, you got a lot of room out there on the fairways the, or even around the fairways for landing. It's The shots into the greens are the ones that you got to make sure your position's on, and you want to make sure you get it on the green because there's some tough chips. Now, you know, I noticed that the architecture, you have all these elevation uh, rises and falls in the course, uh, what, over, what, 500 feet, is it? Correct. There's some tees like that. Now, this course was designed by uh, Nash and uh, Billy Casper, is that, that is right? correct. They did a great job with what they had. And I know Billy Casper, he's won something like, what, 52 PGA? He's won a lot of PGA events. I'm not sure exactly how many, but I know he's up there in the well, rankings. Well, I know that must really be uh, uh, a ball, having him come out and, uh, you know, see the course and see it come together and they're he doing does. yeah they're doing the new course too right correct and they spent a lot of time over there doing that course and laying it out it's just getting getting finished up now they're buttoning up some loose ends and we're looking for that to open late next fall or early early um, winter now what do you think really sets this this course apart from from other course I mean uh, as far as playability and uh, well playability like I said off the tee it looks a lot more intimidating than it really is uh -huh. so the golfer gets intimidated but it's really open in the fairways and the tee shots really it's easier than it looks a lot of times and we have seven different tee boxes so if you whatever average golfer or even an amateur or a beginner or even professional you have enough tee boxes to challenge your game any position that you want now you know what I noticed I came out here on the cart today and I noticed all the grass I've seen I haven't seen a weed out here you must have a great groundskeeper right? yes Greg Fiallen does a great job you know what I'd like you to do Tom is a little later is uh Come and show me a, a couple chip shots, if you could, that are going to be helpful for sure. me. I've been having a little trouble with it, so maybe if you could help me a little bit be later. be my pleasure. Well, thanks, Tom. Let's You're go welcome. out and try that. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, we're very pleased to present to you today Florence Shapiro, who is here with me now. She's Clark County's number one real estate agent, the premier agent working for Prudential Americana. And Florence, welcome to the show, and thank, thank you. you for taking time to meet with us today to give us a, a little tour of uh, what we can find here in Las Vegas. It's a pleasure to show you some of the homes and uh, to talk about Las Vegas. Now, here we are standing by a waterfall that I'm sure everybody is, is hearing in the background here. Yes. And uh, I feel as if I'm at a resort. You are. This but is it's one a of the homes. Home. It's a Tell us about home. this home. This home is built on uh, three different lots. It has uh, over 11,000 square feet. It has a guest house. It has a private park for children. It's one of the most beautiful homes in Las Vegas. It is a resort. It is. <laughs> it is a resort. Yes. You know, to become number one in the county uh -huh. as the real estate agent, premier agent, you must know everything that's going on. I know a lot. I'm Can you share with us how do you see it growing? And what about the pricing? Can we still get in? Yes, you can get in at a very good price compared to certain area of California or the east. The nice thing too is our tax structure. Our taxes on homes are very low and the, we don't have the state tax. So we have a lot of people that come here for those advantages. And of course, something like the property we're standing on right now, uh, the people that are watching our show right now are in the Orange County, LA areas. Mm -hmm. They are accustomed to this kind of a resort would be hard to find. I know. <laughs> hard and to find, number one. It's, actually, it's not even easy to find here because it is on three lots. Uh, this house, to give you an idea, is three million four hundred ninety-five thousand, and uh, it has a guest house that's uh, wonderful. has two bedrooms, two baths, and uh, a living room, which is separate from the main house. Now you have another property you wanted us to see today. Yes, which is on the TPC golf course. All right, and this is actually part of a golf community then. That's then. right. So yes. we'll be going to see that in a few minutes That's with Florence right. and yes. continuing our tour. 
here in Las Vegas. This is basically the tournament, uh, we're in Tournament Hills, and this is the TPC Golf Course. The great thing about this golf course is, of course, the view of the mountains, and it's uh, believed to be where one of the hardest golf courses to play, and this is where the pros play when you see uh, the Las Vegas Open. The home is 3,595,000 and it looks like a, a village when you look from the outside in and uh, this patio is wonderful, it opens to all the rooms so you basically can have an outdoor indoor way of life because our weather, if it's hot during two months, the rest of the year is absolutely gorgeous. <music> The rings stay near the Strip, but not on the Strip. Plan your next visit in Las Vegas at the San Tropez All Suite Hotel, just across the street from the Hard Rock Hotel. We found that the San Tropez offers peace and tranquility right in the middle of all the action. The San Tropez has manicured landscaping, all enclosed, so that you can walk down a quiet lane to the pool and jacuzzi, or on your way to the lobby breakfast that starts your day in a continental way. The rooms are all suites, very spacious with mini bars, several televisions, and again, quiet comfort. You can find just about anything nearby, including a mall with your favorite ice cream, pizza, and sandwiches, or just cross the street and take a look at the Hard Rock Hotel. The village of the Ridges surrounds the uh, Bears Best Golf Course, and the first neighborhood to be completed in the village of the Ridges is called the Promontory. It's a gated community within the gated village itself, and inside the Promontory is another even more exclusive neighborhood called Promontory Point, which is once again gated. My name is Tom Warden, and I'm with the Howard Hughes Corporation. I'd like to welcome Mark and all of his viewers to the ridges in Summerlin and particularly to Bears Best Golf Course. It's a great idea and we'd like to show you around today. If I could, Tom, maybe have, tell me a little bit about the course. The course is spectacular because it's uh, the first of what will eventually be six, uh, what are called Bears Best Golf Courses. Jack Nicklaus has designed uh, well over 200 courses worldwide and so what's happened here is Jack has picked 18 of his favorite holes from his arid golf courses and we have reproduced them faithfully. These are replications of those 18 holes from various different golf courses in various areas and each hole, I mean right down to the size and shape of each trap and, and the relationships between the tee box and the green, everything about it is faithfully replicated. So it's kind of interesting because you can play a lot of different courses in that sense right here on this one course. Well, you know, to, to build a course like that and to replicate those holes from all different areas of the country, they must have had to move masses of amounts of dirt here. Millions and millions of yards. It's been a, a very arduous uh, task to put this thing together and to kind of make this golf course fit into what we have here. But in the end, we get spectacularly uh, unique holes that you wouldn't find anywhere else and that people come from a long way away just to play on. This course is going to be open pretty soon, and I think you're going to find people coming from all over just to get the experience of playing on a bear's best. Well, you know, Tom, I'm just tickled to death just to be involved in, in this project in the small way that I am. You know, with Jack Nicklaus, I mean, he's always been kind of my idol since growing up, and I know that, you know, he's developed so many nice courses, and I know this is going to be something really spectacular. But... You know, I look up and I see this view, Tom, and I, I wonder if, if that's going to maintain itself like that. It is. You know, that's kind of one of the unique things about this Bears Best is the setting that it's in. It's in the middle of a community called the Ridges, which is a village in Summerlin, which is a giant master plan community, the most, uh, the most uh, actually it's the most commercially successful master plan community in America today. 22,500 acres. This community is over 700 acres and it borders right up against a national conservation area. Now the BLM protects this national conservation area. It'll never be built. And so the vistas that you're looking at when you're playing golf on this Bears Best course 
are vistas that will never go away. Those mountains will be protected from development forever. Now, Tom, this beautiful golf course here, I mean, you're going to have to have some sort of a community here, and, and I, well, I'd love to have a house on this course. Well, I noticed that you have your clubs in the car, and you're ready to sign the deed right for the house, I guess, because, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great place to live for people who like golf, well, obviously. my clubs are in the car, but... Uh, <laughs> It's going to be a little while before we're playing on here, but I, I got to say, it's going to be a wonderfully popular community here. This particular village and this course, because of what, what it is, it's so unique and special. Around this course will be um, six custom neighborhoods and 12 or 13 high-end production neighborhoods. Um, and what you'll see are just anything from half a million dollar homes up to multi-million dollar homes. And in fact, we have some lots that are so spectacular in terms of their view here that we expect these lots to go for millions of dollars. Tom, I, I see you've got a list there. Have, uh, is that the holes for uh, uh, Jack's Best here? Mark, these are the, the, the holes that have come from all these other courses all over. Let me read off a few to you. Um, PGA West private course in Palm Springs, uh, California. Cabo de Sol in uh, San Jose de Cabo in Mexico. Uh, Desert Highlands in Scottsdale, Arizona. I mean, a lot of these people have played and are familiar with. Of course, the Anaconda course in, in Montana that we talked about called Old Works. El Dorado, Cabo Real in Mexico. Uh, Palmilla, uh, Los Cabos in Mexico. Los Campanas, uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Castle Pines in Castle Pines, Colorado. Desert Mountain in Scottsdale. So the whole, they kind of dance around the southwest for the most part, but it takes in an awful, an awful great variety of arid golf course holes that Jack has designed. Well, I, I tell you, Tom, I, I've played some of those, and to have them all here on one course is going to be something amazing. It really is. <laughs> See where my ball is? This is where I have a lot of trouble, and I know a lot of the uh, folks out there that don't get a chance to play as much as you do. I know they have a lot of trouble with it too. You think you could maybe show me the best way to get out of this spot here? Oh, sure. The thing about this is here, we gotta remember that the elevation of the ground is gonna elevate the, the golf ball into the air. And we gotta remember that when we hit the shot. A lot of people wanna grab their sand wedges right away and they hit this, pops it straight up in the air and ends up short. What we wanna do is maybe grab a gap wedge, 52 degrees, or a pitching wedge, take a smaller stroke, which gives us more consistency. It won't pop it in the air as much, and it'll let it and let it roll towards your cup a little more. Now, since it's uphill too, more you're going to hit more of the ball sooner, aren't you? That's correct. You might want to move back in your stance a little bit. You got to remember your shoulders got to be the same level as the ground on this. Also, you don't want to be fighting the ground and have your shoulders tipped against it. You want to be tipped with the with the level of the ground. Okay. Well, so. why don't you show us how, sure. how, you, how to do one here? Sure. What you want to do is see how my shoulders are tipped like this. And all I'm going to do is I'm just basically taking a little longer stroke like a putting stroke. I'm not trying to break my left wrist or anything. And all I'm doing is taking a little longer putting stroke and hitting the ball and let it pop out and it'll roll towards the hole. Beautiful. You probably you don't need to hit it real hard, but we need to hit it hard enough to get it out of here just over the fringe and let it try to get on the green as soon as we can. We've got to remember we've got to try to get it on the green and let it roll as soon as we can. Thank you. 